Well, welcome back everyone to The Silent Age. This... Well, I think it's... Uh, I think we can guess that this might be the last episode. Because we're definitely on the last part or chapter of the game here. Before the credits, but yeah. So, let's see what's happened. Yeah, we've basically got done everything. We've sort of found Lambert again. And now we're gonna go and find the... Well, the last time traveler... And I don't know why we're here, really. I guess to make him not come back because there's a disease here that we don't want the time traveler to take back, get back. And our portable time machine is. No, 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 no. My time machine is blown to bits. Yep. This time machine looks pretty banged up. This is, well, the. The one that the other time traveler came in. My own time machine's busted, so I guess this is my only ticket out. All I have to do is press the button. Okay, here goes nothing. Hmm. Something's wrong. The control panel's open. It looks like something is missing. Alright, so apparently someone took something out. Something's definitely missing from the control panel. And if I don't find it, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Which, from the sounds my stomach's making, it might not be that long. <laughs> yup. The terminal's sunk halfway into the ground. Right. Let's go and see what Archon looks like here. Not like a lot, although someone has a power generator here. It looks like a power generator. I'm flipping the switch, but it's not coming on. Maybe is that a fuel? Hmm, no, there's no tank on it. There's long cable running out of it. Maybe it's getting its power from somewhere else. <sighs> it's cold. Refreshing. <sighs> cold. Refreshing. Yeah. Alright, well, nature has um taken over. Thefts. There's a lot of dirt and rubble in the way. Can't get in. I need to get this stuff out of the way. Yep. Cable seems to be running all the way over here. Whoa, the jungle. Oh! Yep, here's some other. Wow, is this another time machine? It, it looks totally different. Besides the fact it's completely falling apart, I mean. Must have been here for quite a while. This thing is much more bulky than the other time machine. An earlier version, but maybe? For how long have they been sending people out here? What year is this even? And we can also see another time machine in this here in the background. So apparently they have been sending a lot of people here. And not all of them have been coming back. Hmm. I can't seem to figure out how this works. It's got lights, but no buttons. It's... I don't really know what it is. It looks like some kind of really impractical kitchen table. It says Berman Solar on it. It's really dirty, but still gives off a groovy colored shine here and there. This would look really great if I just clean it up. Yeah. Shovel? Hey, hey a shovel! It's rusty, but it'll do. And uh, someone made a grave for someone else. I'm not unhappy with my waistline, but there's no way I'm squeezing through there. Man, these ears are tough. They don't even bend when I push them. Alright, we have to find some way to get through there. Um, but we can probably use the shovel over here. Uh, here we go. Yeah, all clear. Okay, so he's not going to speak. Cool. It's a block of concrete. The surface is slightly rough to the touch. This looks like part of the wall or something. This whole place seems to be coming apart. Okay, well here we have a first aid kit. 
I've done a piece of cloth. This first aid kit's been picked clean. I can probably find some use for this cloth. I don't want to know what would make someone empty a whole first aid kit. Oh god. It's a dead person. You'd think it'd be used to seeing dead people by now, but this one really got me for some reason. He's wearing the same suit I saw in those photos on the wall back in the lab. It's a hazmat suit. This must be one of those time pilots Dr. Lambert told me about. The ones that never made it back. I'm just going to let this guy rest in peace. It's a cryotube. It's... I think this is one of the cryotubes. But this place looks hundreds of years old, maybe more. What year did I end up in? It looks almost ancient. Okay, so we can't actually go more over here, but we could uh, clean that um, weird-looking kitchen table. <laughs> Berman Solar, but I think we do need this to be uh, wet first, though. Soaking wet. There we go. I think we can all guess that the little weird kitchen table is actually a solar panel. There, all clip. Wait, something happened. Ooh, I get it. It's a big solar thing. Like on my time machine. Not a lot of light out here, but I guess it doesn't need much to run. Well, that one is green, so hopefully that means that. Oh! Joe is sick! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's exactly what we think is happening. <gasps> yeah, yes, eternal. Whoa, what is that in the wall? It's a person stuck in wall. What on earth? He's. How is that even possible? Wait, there's something sticking out of his backpack. Looks like a rusty machete. This. Is without a doubt the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. He's dead. How did he get stuck in a wall like that? What is this? This is a nightmare. I have to get out of here. Wherever here is. It's not very bright, but at least I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, alright. I think we can use the machete. Well, I mean, it's rusty. It's dull. So we have to do something about that first. So, we can use it on this little slab of concrete. Wow. It's now. Look at that! The machete's much sharper now. This block really did the trick. It's just a machete. Not a dull machete. It's a machete. Not that machete is like the easiest word to pronounce. In English. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Shoot, the machete broke. I guess it was rustier than I thought. Oh well, at least I cleared myself a way through. And it's Frank! The humidity in the air and the heat from the fire is making everything a little heavy in here. It's bright and warm. Frank? J Joe! Oh. P please. Need. Water. What are you. Please! I'll get you some water. Hang in there. Well, we know where to find water, so... Come in, Frank! Come in, Frank! Kudos to all you who, um, call- or, yeah, called it that Frank was a time traveler. <clears throat> I definitely did not. Where did I- I don't even remember, but... So... 
Kudo, I don't think, no, I don't think I expected Frank to be the time traveler, no. What the, well, yeah, the latest time traveler. Here you go, Frank. Oh, thank you. I don't understand. What are you doing here? Where are we? I'm not sure. I had no time. I pushed it as far as it would go. From what I've been reading, everything gets imprecise the farther you travel. Even your physical location can get messed up. Nobody's been this far. We could be hundreds, maybe thousands of years in the future for all I know. I don't get it. So you're a, a time pilot now? Do I really need to spell it out for you, Joe? I stole it. What? You stole the time machine, but, but why? Look, I've got no reason to tell you, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're the last person I'll be sharing anything with anyway. The truth is, I'm a Soviet agent. Cut it out, Frank. I'm not falling for that one again. I'm not joking. Frank, you're just sick. Confused. Come on, you can't be. Where's your Russian accent? Joe, I'm an undercover agent deployed by the Kremlin. My job is to fit in. How far do you think I'd get if I went around calling everyone comrade? Uh... My real name is Yuri Barishev. I came to America in my early 20s. I went to school here, worked here, spent nearly 10 years building the foundation of an ordinary life. But the truth is that my life is far from ordinary. I am a spy. I was planted by the Soviet Foreign Intelligence Agency to gather intel on advanced U.S. military research programs. And I started getting my first missions in the mid-60s. At the time, I thought I had built a promising portfolio of leads. But as I started to pursue them, most of them turned out to be worthless. By 1968, I had run out of goodwill with my handlers at the Kremlin. I was a disgrace, headed for extraction. Desperate for something, anything to report. I came across a Canadian company moving large shipments of iridium, osmium, rare metals not typically used in mainstream manufacturing. The buyer turned out to be a government shell, rerouting the materials to unofficial contractors, one of which turned out to be Archon. Having convinced my superiors that I was onto something, I got a job as a janitor. But I didn't dig up much until you showed up. You were a great distraction, giving me plenty of chances to access off-limits areas. And for a while, I was able to scrounge together enough intel to keep the Kremlin happy. was correct, but I didn't have the full picture. Not yet. The metals were being used to build something unusual, all right. But I just couldn't piece it together. What I found made no sense. Time travel. Doomsday scenarios. It read like bad science fiction. For a while, I thought they were onto me, feeding me bogus information. But as time went on, with security tightening around the labs and no one confronting me, I began to suspect that my intel was legit. But time was running out. With Brezhnev and your President Nixon set to negotiate the nuclear disarmament treaty in a few weeks, my superiors were demanding results. My job on the line, I got desperate and careless. And this morning, I got caught. I 
was tailing an engineer into an off-limits lab when I bumped into Barney from security. Ironically, management chalked up my trespassing to cluelessness and settled for just firing me. Knowing I wouldn't get another chance, I stole a security badge and snuck back in. I just found the time machine operator's manual when you showed up out of nowhere and nearly screwed it all up. Then it clicked. Not only could I steal the technology, it was the perfect getaway, too. Using the manual, I set the destination as high as it would allow. I figured if I could just get far away, I'd have plenty of time to figure out how to get it back to the motherland, but... Well, I guess you know the rest. Listen, Joe. I'm really sick, and I'm not making it back. But you still can. The time machine has a timer, like a toaster. It's designed to return home unless the timer's reset. I removed the main power supply fuse to keep it from taking off without me. Here. Take it. I have no idea how you got here, and I guess it doesn't matter. Still, despite my mission, the double life, and the deceit, your friendship was always genuine. You're an honest guy, Joe, and I've really enjoyed your company. No, no, please leave me. The pain's coming back. Oh, oh, it hurts to, to talk. Oh, 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 need rest. Um, okay, bye, Frank. He's unconscious. I know I can't carry him, but the thought of leaving him here alone is unbearable. It really breaks my heart to leave him here. I wish there was something I could do for him. I... I can't keep hanging around the poor guy. It's too painful seeing him like this. Yeah, honestly, no, he's sick. He's gonna... you know... He's gonna take the disease back with him. If you bring him back. Or... Maybe... Someone else is going to bring the disease back. Well, we don't have much else to do except, you know, go back. This, that, okay. So this explains why that dude is in the middle of the, of the wall. Because, um, the physical location was, um, changed. And poor person ended up in the wall. I mean, could have been there for hundreds of years, but... There, I inserted the fuse. I just hope it still works. Oh. <coughs> uh, what happened? Did I pass out again? <coughs> Whoa, the time machine! <laughs> what happened to it? Yeah, here we have again. Um, if you travel along, like, um, yeah, if you travel far in time, yeah, you physically get a bit offset, so it went right into the wall. <laughs> Holy moly, the time machine landed halfway inside the wall. I'm pretty lucky to even be alive. <laughs> time machine is done for. At least that saves me the trouble of having to destroy it. This wall is cracked from the time machine landing halfway inside it. Ooh, dead guard. There, there's a key on his belt. It's one of the security guards. The blast must have killed him. We can pretend it's Barney. Foreign organism? What's going on? What? What is happening right now? Quarantine lockdown initiated. Foreign organism found. I don't understand. What foreign organism? Door's locked. How do I get out? God, what's happening? I can feel my whole body getting stiff. <coughs> I need to <coughs> find another way out of here. Fast. <coughs> can take this broken frame. Maybe use it on... Or we can use it on the fragile wall. 
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's happening to me? My joints are stiff. I hurt all over. <clears throat> I don't know what they do. I don't think they're important. Locked. The whole lab is under lockdown. It's safety glass. There's no way I'm getting through that. Can't be. The the foreign organism. It, it's it's me. I brought back the disease. I'm the one who spreads it. It it was me all along. I must have <laughs> brought it back with me. Oh God, I think I'm gonna throw up. I, I can't deal with this. What do I do? So in the end, <laughs> Joe is the one who brings back the disease, actually. It controls the tube, so I don't know how to work it. Joe is the entire cycle. <coughs> it's empty. These were locked. Maybe this works here. Oh, oh. It fits. Ow, what's happening to me? Just turning a key makes my muscles hurt. I can feel my arms and legs starting to go stiff. <coughs> Lazarus Cryo Console Operator's Guide along with Draft. I might be able to use this. I've got to get away before security sh shows up and I start affecting everyone. <coughs> yep. Yep, if security gets here world is doomed. I need to get a grip on all this. A virus kills mankind. Dr. Lambert finds me before it spreads and sends me back in time to stop it. But I get infected and spread the virus that kills mankind, so Dr. Lambert finds me before it spreads and sends me back in time to stop it. But I get infected and... How many times have I been doing this? Now, though, we have an interesting point here. Joe knows the entire circle now. Now, does that mean that since Joe has knowledge of the entire circle of events, is he able is he able to now actually stop it? <coughs> Disengage compression lock done. I, I think I unlocked it. <coughs> it's open. Yeah, so if we get in here before security comes, because Joe knows the entire cycle of events, every single detail of what, how everything, you know, connects, he can break it. Which is why Dr. Lambert couldn't, because he didn't have the full picture. Why, hello, Joe is in some kind of hospital. He's not in cryo anymore. Huh? It's a piece of paper with some squiggly lines on it. It looks like one of those polygraph test machines you see on cop shows. It's some kind of ticker tape thing. I'm not sure what it does. I'm not writing anything right now. door is locked. It says Ikea next to the handle. Ikea. Sounds Japanese. <laughs> At least I'm still on Earth. Or Ikea, maybe he's, he's saying it. I can't open it. I don't have time. I, I don't have a need to get in there right now. I don't even know where I am. 
Oh man, my joints are sore. <clears throat> Can't reach it up there. Whoa, that's just like in the hospital. What is this place? The last thing I remember is drowning? Oh man, I clicked too fast. I'm so sorry. I did it again. Ah, oh, man. It's because it takes a second before he starts thinking, so I have time to click, but I sh even though I shouldn't. There's no way to be able to guess the combination. Oh well. Um, you guys can hopefully pause and, you know, go back and pause and read. But, yeah, he remembers that he was sort of drowning in the cryo and... What? Okay, well, definitely more modern stuff. It's a terminal of some kind. Nothing like one I've ever seen. There's a card game on it. It says Solitaire. The image is so sharp it almost hurts my eyes. Where's the rest of the screen? Or the computer. That's basically the screen. It's open. Screen number three. It's a fern. Damn. Whoops, I really thought that was better fastened. Okay, if you do that, you also get a steam achievement. So someone has been writing on the walls here. He says, uh, 1970, Mark III, Sims and Hegel. 983, Fate Unknown. 1970, Lambert Leaves Archon. 999, Fate Unknown. Me to 9000. Cryonic Chambers. Success Return. Lambert Found Dead. Janitor Arrested. Unknown Man Steals Mark IV. 9999, Fate Unknown. Killed by Gunshot. What happened to Albers? Uh, yeah, this dude is trying to figure out what happened with all the... Oh, 961. 68, Mark 1. Wrath, test successful. No way to escape it. No way out, no way out, no way out. I'm sorry, what? End of days. Skirt. And sickness, the cleansing of the earth. The overlords conspired against us, tricked us, made us bring the poison back into the nest, like good little ants. Who did? Too late. What's done is done. No backsies, but we must try. Do you hear me? I, uh, uh, sure. The key to salvation. I've seen it. Felt its color. Know its shape. <laughs> they don't know that I know. Oh no. But I know. I know. Write it. Write it, write it, write it. Before it disappears. Write it down before it disappears. Took away my tools. <laughs> I'll, I'll forget without my tools. Your tools? Pens, paper, they're erasing the slate, forcing me to forget, trying to break my resolve. The persistence of memory, I must repeat, 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 all the time, repeat. Oh, they fear me, cower at the sight of scientific rigor. They know I'm close, so they take away my tools. I'll show them. The blinding light of the scientific method casts no shadows. So, I think he was one of the people in the choir tubes. Uh, he might have been, or at least he's definitely, I mean, he's definitely talking about the time travel. And getting the poison back into the nest is, you know, getting the virus back. This is a desk lamp, but it's on the floor. Clearly this guy's not all there. It really brightens the room, though the disturbing writing on the wall makes me wish it didn't. There's some sort of gizmo stuck underneath the cushion. It kind of reminds me of those fancy Zenith Space Command TV remote controls. Only this one looks like it's actually from space. There's nothing in there but lint and crumbs. Right? It 
it's not locked. And this is a very different room. <laughs> Whoa there, man. No offense intended. Let's see if this... Hey, it worked! Whoa, hey guy, where are you going? Well, at least that took care of the noise. Got the crutch. He's all calmer now, but still doesn't look like he's too fun of company. I better leave him alone. Well, the other dude wanted pen and paper, so let's give him pen and paper. Got it, got it. I think most of the pens end up on top of the closet, but at least I got one down. Got the pen. Let's go in here. Give paper to Jittery Man. Need paper to reproduce the key. Need the paper. Gotta have paper. My dear, then the sword. The pen, the pen, the pen. The key. The key. Keep it close. Keep it safe. Bring help. Don't get caught. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. Whatever you did in your time travels clearly wasn't too good for you. It works. I guess the cr crazy guy knew some stuff. Whoops. One of these weird flat terminal screens again. There's an image of a grassy field. It's so detailed it almost looks real. One of these weird flat terminal screens again. Um, miss, nurse, I... Oh, hi there. Goodness, <laughs> you startled me. You could have just knocked. And it's doctor, actually, Dr. Emma Brown. I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we don't have any files on you, so I don't even know your name. I... it's Joe, ma'am. Oh, call me Emma. We're not so formal here. It's nice to meet you, Joe. I'm sorry, Dr. Brown. I don't know how to say this, but you, everyone here, is in serious danger. I'm very sick, and it's very important you call the authorities and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Deep breaths. There's nothing to be afraid of. How do you feel? I... Okay, I guess. Uh, a little sore. See, you're fine. And the soreness is to be expected. You've undergone muscle therapy. You've been asleep for at least three decades, after all. Maybe even more. What? Where am I? What year is this? Easy, Joe. I know it's a lot to take in. It'd be a shock to anyone's system. Haven't been under for as long as you have. It's 2012, and this is the psychiatric ward at St. Genevieve's Hospital. You were brought out of hibernation five weeks ago. Like the others, you were placed in an artificial coma for regenerative muscle therapy and brought here for evaluation and rehab after everything checked out. Oh, God. The tubes. You have to listen to me, Doctor. I I'm dangerously sick. I was carrying something when, when, when I got in. I oh, <laughs> that? Well, that's true. You did all have some kind of flu. Actually, the resident physician did find it peculiar how you had all contracted a type of avian flu that only first appeared in the late 90s, and a new strain at that. In any case, the pathogen was largely dormant due to the extended hibernation. We run very thorough medical checks on all our cryo clients, so we gave you all a shot of our regular cocktail. Cleared it right up before you even came to. So it's... gone? But Archon... Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about all of that. All I know is that the company that froze you went bankrupt back in the early 70s. A victim of industrial sabotage, I think. Anywho, the remaining assets were sold off, 
and the Cryoform company bought the cryogenics technology. As per ethical requirements, that included all of you who were frozen there. We've been helping rehabilitate Cryoform's clients for the past five years or so. Mostly folks suffering from previously incurable terminal illnesses and heavy wallets. But you didn't hear that from me, hmm? Unfortunately, cryogenics was a little... experimental when you went under. So, while the company's been freezing and reviving clients for quite some time, you had to stay confined to the original equipment. Apparently, a lot of Archon's original documentation was destroyed in a fire. So Cryoform had practically no information on any of you. That's another reason it took so long to figure out how to revive you. Sadly, the others haven't been quite as coherent. They share certain delusions, you know, end of the world, that sort of thing. An unfortunate side effect of Cryogenic's primitive state at the time, I suspect. Mm-hmm. You, however, seem just fine. Apart from the shock, I mean. So... So I'm not sick? You sure? <laughs> yes, Joe, quite sure. In fact, I see no reason to keep you here. We have an excellent rehabilitation team who'll get you settled into your new life in no time. Just come see me when you're ready to go. So yeah, as I said, yeah, uh, apparently the world has not gone under because Joe managed to stop the avian flu from killing everyone in the 70s. Um, and yeah, because he was the entire circle of events and he knew how every event in the, cir in the circle, as I call it, was connected. So he would have the power to stop it. And I don't think we have much more to do, so... Who's on this poster, though? It's... I'm not sure who this is, actually. Colonel Sanders? General Lee, maybe? Saint Nick? No, he doesn't smoke a cigar. Alright, well, I think we're done here, so, uh, Dr. Brown? So? Are we all ready to go? I guess. Oh, don't worry. The rehab team's eager to help get you settled in. I know it may feel a little overwhelming now, but trust me, you'll love it in 2012. Endless opportunities. A whole new lease on life. Speaking of, I happened to catch you on the surveillance monitors a little while ago, and you seem to show excellent problem-solving skills. You like puzzles, Joe? I... Perfect. I'll be sure to mention it to the career coaches. They'll find just the right thing for you.
So yeah, that was the silent age. Yeah, the music's kind of loud here, but uh, let's see if I can talk over it. But yeah, that was the silent age. Um, I think they do a really, really good job with the atmosphere here, and especially the ending. It's so sad to see him just in the museum looking at... I mean, he's looking at the 70s in a museum, and he's just like, this is where I was supposed to be. And he saved the entire world by going into cryosleep, and no one's ever gonna know or believe him. You know? No one's ever, ever going to know. And he's just so lost in 2012. Like, oh man. Ending is so sad. It's like, I mean, happy that everyone survives, but it's so sad for Joe. I don't know. But anyways, it's a really cool game. Um, I've enjoyed playing it both times. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you very much for sharing the game with me and for watching. And we'll see what other cool adventures we're going to go on next. So take care and bye-bye.